This is an electric auto jib crane. It is mounted to the new DB500 GT Pro. This jib crane is essential for removing the blast pot safely. In this video, we will show you how to safely remove the blast pot using the EC2 auto jib crane. Find a safe location and a partner. First, you will need to park the DB500 GT truck in a safe location that is solid and mostly level. Then make sure you have another person around for assistance when lifting the pot. Ready the outrigger. If you are lifting the blast pot while it contains any media or water inside, you will need to deploy the undermounted outrigger. Do this by first removing the bottom retaining clip and latch pin. Lower the outrigger arm. Secure the arm by repinning the latch pin into the down position. Next, remove the top retaining clip and latch pin. Pull the outrigger to the extended position and secure it by repinning the latch pin into the extended position. Now pull the release handle near the base and push the spring-loaded footing closer to the ground. Then attach the crank arm to the cross shaft. Start lowering the footing by turning the crank arm counterclockwise till it is fully grounded. Ready the jib crane. Gain access to the jib crane from the driver's side gate. Open the gate and pin it to the railing. Connecting to the blast pot. Attach the remote control switch to the jib crane by plugging the remote control unit into the pigtail that extends from the back of the winch housing. Press out to provide slack in order to remove the latched hook from its holder. Then on the jib, remove the safety cotter pin, then the locking pin from the jib's body. Lift the boom arm to the highest position and insert the locking pin and safety cotter pin. Loosen the swivel headlock by twisting its handle counterclockwise and the boom arm rotates freely. Align the boom arm directly over the blast pot's lifting lug. On the controller, press out on the toggle switch. The hook and the connecting wire will start to lower. You can now unlock the abrasive arm and swivel the pinch hose assembly to the side. Attach the jib crane hook to the lifting lug located on the top of the blast pot. Disconnect air, water, and electrical lines. After opening the blowdown valve and making sure that there is no residual air pressure in the blast pot, use a wrench to detach the yellow air hose from the blast pot. Next, make sure the water tank ball valve is closed. Then detach the water inlet hose from the blast pot. For more information on how to fill the blast pot once disconnected, see the video link below. Finally, disconnect the electrical line that is located behind the base of the blast pot. Disconnect the blast pot. Once both hoses are disconnected, you can now detach the blast pot from the deck. Do this by removing the four cotter pins and unscrewing the castle nuts from the base of the blast pot's platform. Lifting the pot. Once you make sure that the lift area and the landing area are clear and the blast pot is ready to lift, then proceed to undo the driver's side railing pins, lift and fold down the railing. Hop back onto the deck using the passenger side gate and then with the remote control, press the in switch. While lifting, hold the blast pot's handle to make sure the pot lifts evenly off the base. While lifting the blast pot from its base, have your partner stabilize the base of the blast pot and help maneuver the blast pot. Slowly swivel the boom arm towards the driver's side. Once in position, press the out switch. The blast pot will begin to lower. While the blast pot is lowering, pay close attention to the clearance between the blast pot and the truck. Once the pot is close to the ground, have your partner hold the pot's handle to make sure the pot is set down evenly. Once safely on the ground, you can unhook the blast pot and wheel it to your desired location. Reinstalling the blast pot. When reinstalling the blast pot, you will do everything in the reverse order. But note, when reinstalling the blast pot, make sure the castle nuts are not torqued but just snug enough to prevent the pot from shaking when driving down the road. Additionally, when reconnecting the air and water lines, secure them with a snug fit as well. If over tightened, you could damage the hose internals, which can lead to air and water leaks. Furthermore, make sure to return the outrigger to its stowed position before operating the vehicle. Otherwise, damage will occur. Lastly, make sure to occasionally grease the outrigger latch pins if they become difficult to remove. 
And that's it, you're all set. You now know how to safely remove the blast pot from the DB500 GT Pro.